In this video, we shall dive into multiple devices provided in the circuit module, starting with the potentiometer. Simply select the potentiometer tool from the toolbar, and drag it over the canvas, both horizontally and vertically, to increase the length of the potentiometer and the slider respectively. From the properties table, check the show ruler checkbox, and uncheck the draggable checkbox. Now create two DC batteries, and connect them to the same end of the potentiometer as shown. Increase the voltage of the lower battery, and connect it with a resistor, which is then connected to the other end of the potentiometer. Similarly, connect the upper battery with a galvanometer, which is then connected to the potentiometer as shown. Now use the slider to find the null point. Calculate and check, whether the null point is correct or not. Moving on to the next device called bulb. Create four bulbs, two in parallel and two in series, and connect each pair using a DC battery as shown. Change the nominal power of the bulbs from the properties table. Set the power as 6 watt and 3 watt for each pair. Notice that the bulbs in parallel are glowing in equal capacity, while the bulbs in series are not. The one having less power is glowing more than the other, simply because the other one requires more power to glow equally which is not possible as the bulbs possess different resistances but are receiving same amount of current. Next device in line is diode. Let's create half-wave rectifier and full-wave rectifier using a capacitor as shown. Attach the graph tool to both the resistors, and notice that the half-wave rectifier blocks the negative half-cycle of AC wave whereas the full-wave rectifier transforms the negative half-cycle of AC wave to positive. Last device in the line for this video is logic gate. Let's create NAND to or gate using the logic gate tools as shown. Use logic input and output to enter and receive the binary values respectively. If both or either of the input is 1 then the output must be 1, else the output will be 0. Thus, successfully converting NAND to OR gate. Hope you got an idea of how to use the circuit module to visualize and understand above circuits and more.